मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आज हम एक कोड एग्जीक्यूट करेंगे एच टी एम एल में इसमें हम लोग एक चेकबॉक्स कंट्रोल या रेडियो बटन या इस तरीके से हम कुछ फॉर्म्स एक क्रिएट करेंगे जिसमें हम पासवर्ड डाल सकते हैं यूजर नेम आई डाल सकते हैं तो स्टार्ट We'll start with doc type HTML head title. anything like uh, we are creating form uh, html html form uh, close uh, title tag then adding tag is also closed here after that we need to uh, we clear the body of the code so we are creating form under the body tag form tag is used here after that what uh, we have to insert in our form key element we will put like first name colon the declaration is like this input type is equals to text name equals to first underscore name declaration is completed for first name and so, uh, and if we want to change the code for second line so we used br code br tag that is the breaking line tag use the next last name input type text is equals to last underscore name declaration is completed we will end form tag here we close form tag here after that body tag is closed then last html tag is closed so this is the simple program um, of html to create form let's see what is the output of that program save it with the name form.html extension now execute this file with the supportive browser so on the screen we can see a small form has created here which has two input element first name and last name now suppose in the same program we need to add a password or username or password so we'll use br code here then user id as a input input type is equals to name is equals to user underscore id slash this is the declaration for user id and after that again we will use br code for password so we'll use password the input 
type is equals to password name equals to password declaration is completed so now see what we'll get after adding these two input element when this port is user now here we can see that user id and password is also implemented in our program now suppose uh, if you need to add check boxes so here just type input type is equals to the checkbox declaration checkbox name is equals to the name of the any subject like iwt okay then the iwt value is equals to on iwt it. Again, we'll use BR code if we, we need to add one more checkbox for another subject. So we'll use input. The declaration is same as we declared our checkbox. Checkbox name is equals to the name of the second subject like TOC. value is equals to gain will use on the name of the subject TOC. Now save this code. Then we'll execute this code. It is a portable browser. So here we can see the name of IWT is not found, so we can see what we have mistaken. Yes, just use like this. Save this file now. Again, open this file with Google Chrome. Now you can see this in the password input element the checkbox is continue with the same line because we didn't use br code br tag here so if you want this checkboxes to continue with the another line just add br tag here and when br tag is added what output we received like So this is the checkbox. We can select both of the option, what um, number of option that we you can implement. You can add with the checkboxes. After that, you can also add radio button in this. So just use BR tag and see how can be able to use radio button. Use input type is equals to radio name is equals to subject value which are values is equals to like IWT IWT math uh, IWT that's it you want to add another radio button use same code for another subject like let's copy it now again you can change the name of the subject like toc toc okay. let's see what output you will get 
you take the code, execute the code. Like this, you can able to add these radio button. So radio button is actually you uh, with the help of radio button you get you can select only one of the option. While if you are adding some check boxes, you can select multiple options. So this is the pattern or this is the code how to create Google uh, HTML forms and what are the input elements that we are provided to uh, use in forms. Forms are actually created to uh, take input from the user side. If uh, you are creating any form, that means user can able to give uh, the detailed information with that form to that particular website. So this is for form and uh, in another classes, we will see how we can able to create uh, new uh, means the partition or how we can able to partition the screen, how we can able to uh, categorize the area of the screen or area of the web document. Okay. 